Alrighty, we are back, and like I said in part one, this is part two, and we are on the ball golf course for De La. Quite the contrast from the original disc golf course. And once again, I am joined by Team DD's Zoe Ann. Oh, whoop, whoop, what up? <laughs> Thanks for having me. I love being here. <laughs> and I am so excited to watch this conclusion because we have a, granted, Paige is winning but quite handily, but we've got quite a tight race for second, third, and fourth place. Uh, Katrina Allen with a two-stroke lead over Jen and three strokes over Lisa. Yeah, we do have a tight race for second right here and hole 10, par three, 415 feet. Uh, as you can see, it plays really, really, uh, you know, quite nicely to the righty backhand yes. Heiser bomb. Yes. Um, 415 feet, yes, by the women's field can still be just a pure Heiser bomb. We're going to see that on this card, I'm sure of it. A little tougher hole for a lefty or a sidearm. Yeah, I really like the distance this one has, um, especially the distance that it takes to get around those ukes. Boom. Right in there for the birdie bid. Let's see how many feet. Uh, looks like a tree is just kind of barely even there. Yeah. I wouldn't even think it's in the view. Jen takes it pretty wide. You guys can't really see from the tee pad, but the wind is, is kicking up and swirling. Yes. Um, the reed from the tee box versus the reed from the basket are two very different winds. Yeah, it's interesting how this golf course can do that to you. It can kind of be head and heady at the at the tee and then maybe like a right to left crosser by the pin. Really, you, you got to know the course. Lisa skips up. She comes up a little bit short, but um, her jump putts have been on. Yes. Her, her mental game is, is strong. She's kind of on the flow state right now for her, and, and she's going to make a bit at that. I love Cat that you mentioned flow state, though. That's so cool. <laughs> I, I'm a firm believer in that. Me too. Yes. Yeah, a, Kat gets kind of a crazy roll away, but not a bad thing. She was, she was yeah. actually behind those trees, so that's going to give her at least an open bid, open run on it. Everybody here is happy that they've got the uphill bid instead of the down. Yeah, those those trees in the back, um, you know, while if you hit them, it might cause a roll away, they do offer a pretty good backstop for an aggressive bid from down here. Yeah. Maybe a not so aggressive bid from Cat. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe not everybody's happy, but I know I'm stoked if, I, if I'm not under it, at least I got the uphill like aggressive bid. <laughs> Lisa gave that a, a fair bid. Oh, the tree was definitely much more in front of the basket than what I thought off of that drive. Yeah, it kind of it honestly kind of centered it up. Putt. Yeah. Tricky tricky putt. Jen taking her 3, stress free. Stress free 3s are always the best 3s. They feel good. Nice and easy, tap in, tap in. So yeah, no birdie on top card there, but it was definitely a hole that the FPO field could get to. Mm -hmm. Um certainly score separator if you were able to get your drive in there and cash in on the putt. Yeah, it is 415, or it was 415, but it plays downhill, then uphill. So to get that distance all the way to the pin does seem a little bit more manageable than just a straight, flat, 415-foot hole. I love the smile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how Jen plays with her phone in her pocket. It's crazy. But hey, <laughs> you know, she's a, got it down. A few players can. Uh, I never have, never probably will be able to, but uh, it's all about what works for you. This is true. It's all about <laughs> process. Hole 11. Woo, sidearms delight, Zoe. Tough hole for every competitor out there, yes. male or female, doesn't matter who you are. Look at that wind blowing, look at that sand trap hazard, Roto be deep. 295 feet is a tough shot, okay? Yes. It's a real tweener distance here. Backhand, I think that was actually her deputy, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I No, I'm not sure I love the high off the tee play, um, just because that tree line is a pretty low ceiling off out there in the distance. This is what I was expecting a little bit more of, is that kind of sneaky backhand route to the right. Really? And maybe try and check it up just before that bunker. Yeah, see, I've always, uh, I play the backhand turnover as well, like okay. Paige, but I play it a lot lower. Yeah. Um, that grass is pretty sticky. You've got to mm -hmm. trust your disc to turn right, but uh, finish a little straighter. Cat's got full commitment on that. Pulls right, actually a little yeah. bit too much. It was looking pretty good. I think that up the middle line is is by far the shot. However, this is the safe play that Jen took. She just got an unfortunate tree kick. Mm. And not so safe. Not shot, quite enough height. That basket is on a little bit of a hill too, from where Jen was standing. Yes. Now, it should be noted again. We've mentioned it in the uh, the holes previous. This the bunkers do play as hazard, so she is not gonna have to putt from back across that. She will have a pretty routine tap in for her uh, four or for a five. Excuse me. You gotta love that pure commitment. I mean, 
obviously Paige doesn't have a lot to worry about, but right now Lisa's in a real race for, for second, and she's also completely committing to this bid. Both of the players stay safe. Gotta love the courage. That's a great golf play, Kat. Um, I just, I love pointing out each view of, of what this card is, how this card's attacking the hole. Yeah, kind of the differencing, the, the differentiating styles, like the really aggressive versus Lisa, kind of that half go. It's interesting. Good golf and great golf everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really impressive stuff. And I'm excited to see how this division plays this new tee uh, on hole 12. Because it generally throughout the year, the Muni course does play this tee for everyone. Uh, and so they do get that huge extended one for the MPO. But this feels like a more natural part four we're about to see after we see uh, Paige just let it loose. Yeah, I actually like this next, uh, I mean, we, we actually got to play this tee pad last year. They just fixed it. They flattened it and, and fixed the actual, okay. put the turf top or that, you know. Um, this is an appropriate distance, par 4, 594. What that means is get an incredible, you know, first blast of a drive. And for a lot of ladies, it's going to be a blast of a second drive. For, for some of the farther driving females, it's going to be pick a fairway or a mid that you're, you're going to, probably not a mid, pick a fairway that you can put up there. But the green's not friendly. No. Put together two good shots and you're going to get that birdie. Yes, there is danger afoot as you're approaching this green. There is a bunker right of the pin, short right of the pin, and that OB green looms large if you kind of just fluff your upshot a little bit. Okay, so Paige Heiser's out and is playing kind of the high left side. Um, a lot of people are probably trying to stick righty back and stick the center or the right side. Okay, Lisa. so you think center center fairway and right side of the fairway would be the optimal landing zone? Uh, again, for a uh, Heiser friendly thrower, it just creates two bombs, you know? Yeah. Uh, the second one being much more of just a Heiser brainless hyzer bomb mm -hmm. um if you're up on the left side though i do think that you can you can kind of attack that hyzer just a little bit differently and flatter yeah so jen you see playing to that right side and you know she is one to take the hyzer when it's there so if she's playing the hyzer hyzer then you know that's probably a legitimate play let's see here what cat does looking like it's going to be center cut Really, it does, though, come down to a second shot type of par four here. Yeah, you know, um, actually, and that is where the golf course and the actual De La Viega disc golf course really, really parallel. Mm -hmm. Your second shot, man, is that important. You've yes. got to stick that landing, stick that landing, and stick that landing. <laughs> no, you're, you're so right, and I... I stuck woo! the landing! <laughs> wow, yeah, speaking <laughs> of stuck the landing, that Velcro grass, so helpful right there because that was probably... You know, in Dayla on the hard pin, that's shooting right into that OB. Comfortable hyzer, hoping to get right of the tree. Parked. Beautiful great shot. shot. I think she was actually inside of the tree, too. That was a great shot. Gosh, Jen throws hard. Oh, unfortunate Stop. kick. And there is OB Ooh. down there. You yeah, know, the anything cart path and beyond yep. with the hill. I've seen some unfortunate rollaways no. over the years. <laughs> no, no. Don't tell me that. She may have let go of that one just a little bit earlier. Looks like she's landed in the hazard for a one-stroke penalty from that spot. Oof, Jen wanted the putt, obviously. Uphill with a bit of a backdrop behind it, so she could give it that aggressive run. Yeah, in yes, the heart. please. In the heart. She's got the heart of a champion. She just has that, that, she, well, that she's tiger's got eye, <laughs> you know? All right. Lisa is feeling very confident at this point. Great putt, great yes, follow please. through. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's like when you're playing a Nintendo game and Mario, you eat the star, you kind of got that firepower, <laughs> electricity around you. Lisa Ficus has that right now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, I love it. She I, does. She's blinking on screen right now, honestly. <laughs> Unfortunate miss there. Yeah, cat bag on par. Yeah, uncharacteristic. She's really been dialed, it seems, on the putting green so far this round. So to see her kind of miss a little bit of a shorty right there, have to imagine she's going to be picking it up on this next hole, though. Slow-mo. Full that. commitment. I love. Lisa, I feel like, has full some time. of the best full commitment. Like yep. you said, like she just puts her full body into it and just, there's no missing. Yeah. So, there we go. Lisa pulls one stroke closer, and that's just a one, two, three stroke, uh, excuse me, one and two stroke difference between exactly. second and fourth. 
And this, this going into 13, you know, this hole is not easy. Sidearm, much more lefty and sidearm friendly. OB is cart path and beyond. Um, we've got the eucalyptus forest that you've got to kind of throw straight through. And uh, anything that's going to kick off is going to be trouble. Yes, and not to mention, the shot. <laughs> this tee pad is so short. I have to imagine this is like James Conrad's oh, kryptonite right now. Because, Zoe and Ike, too. Oh, Let me yeah, tell you that. I'm huge on the tee box. <laughs> yeah. A lot, a lot of people are. This tee box is tiny. Yes. It really takes a little bit of the power away. Paige, Paige is tiny, though. She's right. got plenty of power. Just going to say, yeah, going back <laughs> to that PMAC truth well, that nice, clean turnover line. It gives her that birdie look. Yeah, that's really, I mean, that's right where you want to be. You really don't want to get too testy with that right side because it drops off so significantly. So on all day, there was a tailwind on this hole. Okay. Jen was uh, very power crush committed there, too. You can see the, the basket, the flag there. Tailwind for most of these righty backhand shots is, you know, kind of, a, it's a danger. It's going to fluff your shot out. I know yes. it happened to me. I went OB right there um, was the example. I actually didn't even know that that happened to Kat. That was crazy timing, but... That happened to a lot of the ladies on the field, yes, um, that tailwind trusting is, and committing to that power, but yet not yanking it over into the trees. Exactly. That tailwind so is just really going to gonna hyzer you out if you don't commit to that. Um, Lisa, just with a pretty safe upshot. That, that was a half bitty. Okay, half I bitty, like bitty, bitty. that. I all like right, that. Right. <laughs> um, but regardless, it was safe. Yes. It wasn't too aggressive. Oh, chill. Uh, mm. Okay. That would have been a that would have been a fantastic make if she put it in. So, no shame in the. And that was a fantastic, just Ooh. over the top of the cage slicer in. It's in. Count it. Take the two. <laughs> just that little body language, there, body English to get it in too. Yeah, and for everybody out there, if you guys are ever upset about the way a putt goes in, remember you should probably not be. It went in. Yes, uh, like that happens to all of us. And they always say no pictures on the scorecard, right? No pictures on the scorecard. It's in. This has video <laughs> on the scorecard, so it is a little different. But you gotta love it though. You're it's right. in. You're right. I always say maybe not good shot, but good result. Good mm -hmm. result. Page, the sneaky peek view from behind the ivy here. This so this behind the tee pad is like so overgrown. Not overgrown, but there's so much just lush. Well, the work that's been done actually yes. just to the walk out here, it's incredible. Competed with Innova. I don't think I'd be playing the sport if it wasn't for him. Creating the disc itself and then just taking it to the next level over and over and over again. How great the discs are themselves. It's really gained my trust and I don't think I would be here without Innova. I just, I don't see myself doing anything else. Alrighty, again, big shout out to Innova for getting us out here and Zoe. We are here at probably the biggest change maybe on the course for the FPO division or potentially in the top couple. Yeah, biggest change as far as, as the way a hole is played, yes. um, all of the finicky rules around it, and then kind of what it's forcing the player to do. Yes. Um, taking away options of shots and forcing just uh, one straight through the tree gap and low hanging flag shot. Yep, so should be noted there is a triple mando, the two trees framing this gap, and there is that bit of like, I don't know, circusy flag situation <laughs> on the top of <laughs> yes. it, which is fun in its own right. Um, but it does kind of leave up that little window of doubt because this is, what, 200 feet off the tee? It's tough um, to see. Well, you know, it's always really fun to see, especially in the females, field a, a roller or yes. another type of line. And, and you see how low that third part of the Mando, and actually I'm going to pause right there. Sadly, looks like Lisa missed the Mando there. Yes. Um, and, and, and sadly, knowing a little bit of uh, inside information, got an incorrect flag from the spotter there with a green flag where she actually missed it. All three of the other ladies made it. Or Cat will make it. Cat will shot. make it. And, and that's what kind of happened to me, too. I didn't get the serious roll away, but I came up short of the Mando. So, again, the, the shot, the tee shot forces the players to only have one line instead of get creative with their distance shots. Um, and that's the only unfortunate part. Looks like Cat... Gets up out of there, no. Oh, it was such a good shot from where she was, and maybe it's six. And not far from the pin. Yeah. So close. See, now there was a bit of confusion on the tee. So that, and, and really one, I think, kind of not awesome situation is that this call is left up to the players. Um. Yeah, well, and, and all three players 
clearly saw that it, it missed and and it was tough really to, you know yeah. seeing that green flag from the spotter unfortunate it's the players and the cards call yes. lisa does take the penalty for the miss mando mm -hmm. and and as we saw in the video correctly takes the penalty yes page dang it right into the bunker as or hazard as well so close to the pin though both her and cat and, and weren't bad up shots exactly and it's, <laughs> it's so just a touchy. tricky hole it's a tricky hole because <laughs> if you throw too short you know a hair too short you're in the bunker if you throw a hair too long or high you're going down the hill and risking going ob so touchy and you know jen played it safer going long but but it did create kind of a long uphill putt back let's see what lisa does here Side hill almost, and yeah. it sticks stress free there. Yeah, you got to respect the really just the the confidence to be running that. That hill is so slanted. Wow. Yeah, cat. Beautiful putt by cat as I'm Death talking putt. about Lisa over here, but <laughs> great shot. And and really honestly compliments to Lisa for being able to take a breath, get back into rhythm, have that quarterback mentality of just next play, next play, next play, and just really stick to her game plan. Exactly. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody take a knee putt from in the sand from the hazard there, and, right. and I just witnessed that make from Paige. It's pretty good, pretty good par save there. Yeah, good putt, good cleanup, and that is a type of putt that I feel like is so missable. You're, there's all this energy going on, and you have to hit maybe like a 15 to 20 foot comebacker, and while you should be making them, there, th that energy can lead to some un uncharacteristic misses, and just good to see Lisa really get back onto it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was just watching that putt go in. Right. So both both Cat and Paige um, are able to save their par. Jen, of course, got her par. Lisa takes the unfortunate, but you know the triple Mando miss gets the bogey. Hopefully, she can maintain and get back on her flow state, like what you were saying. Um, this this hole is tricky. They've moved the pin this year yes. for the females division. It is for uh, you know kind of a turnover shot or a straight shot, and you've got to avoid the hazard that's just short of the. Pin. Yes. Now there is not OB right of the pin in that kind of jungly forest part. Um, it's just going to be a really tough lie. Looks like that came out a little early. Oh, oh no. Yeah, it's going to be taking that penalty stroke, unfortunately. OB green. Jen with just the power yeah, turnover yeah, shot. It's yeah, cooking, but a little low. Whew. Wow. I, and I mean, I, that's great that it skipped out of the sand right there. Great shot. Total trust and commitment. A lot of the players you'll see, and I think Kat's going to land safely. <laughs> also got that. Okay. A lot of the female players were actually trying to land short of the hazard and yeah. just play it for a three. Yeah. Top card FPO. You know they Ooh. going for it. Oh. So close to just disaster, but is it Happy to, to be around. safe. Yes. Happy to be safe. Yes. Playing for her three right here. And um, as a player collecting your thoughts after a couple of couple of downers like that in, in Lisa's round, hoping she can execute a good upshot here. Well, she does. Looks pretty stress-free for the three. Yep. Yeah. Help her calm down a little bit. Exactly. Paige can back cash on in on a big one. Not a bad, you know, not a bad try. There's a lot of wind out there. It's yes. Sitting pretty good for the three as well. Or four after the vote. Oh, excuse Wait, three me. Strokes. Yeah, three, excuse me. You know, three strokes <laughs> to get it in there. Jen with, I believe she's putts D-line P2s. Ooh, you know she wants that one back, Zoe. Yeah, I might have went a little bit fast. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you get up there and really with a shot that in theory probably like should have stuck in that bunker, it landed straight in it and it skipped out. You really have that going through your mind. Yes, oh, I have a two now. I got to get this two. I got to get this two. Yeah, it could have been you know? added stress yes. on the birdie. Um, every time we use that that term, stress-free par, I can't say enough about how much energy is being burned stressing out about a birdie, whether you make it or you're pressuring yourself to make it. Absolutely. Stress-free birdies, man, there's nothing like that. That's just like somebody delivering bricks of gold to you. But uh, birdies that happens can, all the time. Too. Yeah, birdies can really um, eat a lot of energy from the yes. players. So remember that. Remember to try to keep your stress levels low. And, and when you're in flow state, Stressing yourself out or not flow state. I think Jen was just really needing that birdie right there. So extra pressure behind that shot. But uh, keep it positive. Believe in yourself. Absolutely. Hole 16, par 4, 590. <laughs> and a different tee than the MPO played. Um, I believe the MPO played kind of halfway in between, and the FPO last year, but halfway in between this and the new MPO tee, um, which is so much farther back. But this, I love the shape of this shot for a par 4. 
Um, the cart path should be stated not out of bounds here. Not out of bounds. There's an access road that kind of flows along the right side and deep of the basket the whole way, and it, it would be access road and beyond OB. Um, first shot, really important Ooh. to find where you want to make your upshot, whether it's the little righty backhand hyzer or if you hyzer out to the left, the little four, you know, sidearm forehand mm -hmm. upshot left of the trees. Looks like Kat, she's been trusting that sidearm all day. Looks like a good shot for her and her choice. Yeah, I like that. I believe that's her D2 that she's flipping up out there. So flying really well for her this weekend. Lisa lining up the strike shot as she is one to do. It is her signature disc at all. Uh, she's on the right side of the fairway. Yeah. I'm liking it. I have to imagine she is trying to set herself up for that backhand approach. She yep. is pretty backhand dominant. Ooh, Paige going big, and we like it. Um, there's a lot of wind out there, you guys. It yes. changed from the tee pad again to the basket. So that one might have flipped over a little more on Paige than what she wanted, but she was going big flex distance Absolutely. on that shot, which she had all the room to do. This is Lisa taking out the champion Colossus, which is her, she wow. said, secret weapon for the win. Wow. I think it's like a speed a million. I yeah. mean, 13 <laughs> or 14. I think you're right on the first one. <laughs> Trust in the sidearm, playing yeah. that left side. Good play, play it short of the tree and just skip it on over, but it's going to come up, I think, probably a little bit shorter than A little she outside of the circle, yeah. but playing the hole, golfing the hole, um, you know, taking the lines that she wanted. Absolutely. Set herself up for at least the opportunity. So Paige here is inbounds. That is not the access road that she's throwing off of. That's just kind of a gravel little path. Super comfortable upshot, you know, yes. being able to play that backhand little mini hyzer up the access road. And Kat is choosing to take the par instead of, you know, kind of the crazy three run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was at a distance there, and that OB to the right, you know, if you catch basket and catch edge, that's going out of bounds. Ooh. I got to love the confidence. Yes. Uh, missing high. Nothing wrong with that putt. Hoping it's going to go in on the next one. Oh, two holes in a row. Jen, we need <sighs> you to get back on the birdie train. Well played whole page. Crazy wind. Yeah, it's kind of that sneaky good line that she got. She turned it over obviously more than she wanted, but did leave herself that pretty open putter hyzer up. Well, you know, I, I like to believe that if Paige got her, her dream line there, she was setting herself out for one of those downtown eagle jump putts. Oh, you know, I, I, yes. I really, and you can kind of see in her form right here. So I'm going to turn you over. You're going to hyzer back out on the right side of that tree line. Get in there for that butt. Beautiful three. Gosh, she throws far. Zoe. Great score. Crazy yeah, oh, yeah. Great score line for the whole card there. Yeah, being one down on that hole. Yeah, 2.75 average, or excuse me, 3.75 average on the hole. Probably right in line with what you're going to see. Maybe even probably a little better than the average score out here in the FPO division. Um, this hole, though, this hole 17, par 3, 342 feet. The big change here is that that sidewalk plays OB. Or the River path. OB. OB deep access road, elevated basket, crazy wind. Are you going to stick that landing strip? Oh, yes, tough. is the answer for Paige on that one. And you've got the huge eucalyptus tree, you know, kind of guarding Absolutely. the basket if you're coming up short, too. So. so there is, should be noted, there is a drop zone for any shots that do land OB. Regardless of what OB you're in, you go to the drop zone. So Ooh. that shot did, unfortunately, check up into the out of bounds. I was just going to say, I hope she stayed in. I, I couldn't see that. Get that hyzer, stick the landing. Yeah. Don't get a roll. Okay, the Good tree shot. is coming into play. Great shot, though. Yeah, great yeah. stick. <laughs> Lisa here looking to really get it to the basket. They're so tight for second place. So really any slip up right here could cost, a, I mean, a significant amount of money, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Masters Cup, uh, I think, is one of the highest cash payout of, of the NT series sure. in uh Talking about strokes costing money, that's for sure. Yes. <laughs> so Paige, in her typical aggressive way, you know she's not laying this up. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. you got to love that. Oh, laying it up. Every danger in, in the book is in play here. Look at the smile on her face, too. Oh, my gosh. She knows she's just, she's just working That's incredible it golf, you guys. That's the highest level of the females' professional division, Absolutely. Paige Pierce. Beautiful, too. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. We're going to take that stress-free three. 
Jen chooses the three, or excuse me. The four, the four. layup for the four. Yeah, and same with Kat. She didn't want any part of running that. She's already going to get a stroke on Jen here because of the out of bounds. So Yeah, and I mean, uh, later on you, you might hear about Ricky and Anton in that Ooh. same drop zone. I'm not going to give it away, but uh, are you running it from, from that 35-footer or are you laying it up? There's so much wind and it's a high basket, OB yes. deep. So great play, Jen. Just uh, take it and move on. Great three, Lisa. Yeah, and, and let's be honest. Hole 18 is a big hyzer. And if there's a type of hole where Jen could excel at, it's a big hyzer. So take your medicine, get out of here, and just try and attack on 18. Look at this putt going. Ready? Oh, I'm turning over just when my mom wanted me to. Oh, I'm going in. And look at Paige's face down there in the corner. Ooh. She's so stoked. Oof. Oof. Wow. And great three for Cat, too, there. Two, three, three, four, going into hole 18. Wow, oh, it is tight. I can't believe it's already at hole 18. I know. What a it's, race. It's, it's, isn't it crazy? Like, the day law rounds, they feel like they're so long and drawn out. Then we get out here, and it's like, whoa, this is oh, almost over. Yeah, and then we got we got uh, 429 feet all downhill. Yes. It's one of uh, the favorite, favorite downhill blasters. If you like throwing downhill, you're going to get the distance. OB left in the water. OB right if you're going... Um, deep and, and, and cart path and beyond. Yes. Really a, a well-framed hole. Really just so presentable and beautiful. I love the Innova and PDJ banners. You know, looking at back. those banners. It's so, doesn't it, it just feels professional when you're standing on the tee. Paige just nailed that shot. Park job, textbook hyzer. Yeah, you can't overstate how nice that shot was. I feel <laughs> like I was talking and like I'm, I feel bad for talking during that, that display. There. Stop talking during the shot. Excuse me. Sorry, just kidding. I'm, backing off <laughs> I'm used to being behind the camera. I can't say anything. Now that I'm in the mic, I get to talk. Okay, Lisa. Also, nice wide release. Hoping for that skip. Yeah, I like the play and... And really, that's a precision shot because she looked, she laid it up right onto that little little ridge there. Kind of what, yeah, what you want to call the backbone. So you got the yeah. straight shot up. No, not a lot of fear with the pond in the background. Ooh, Jen oh. turning it over a oh. little bit. It's coming back though. Heisering out. She knows at this point she's playing this for a safe three mm -hmm. in her head. Um, you know, people could run that, but uh, not recommended could, by the operative anybody. Word. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> But granted, she needs the stroke on She Kat. needs it. Well, Does she it, want she wa to? <laughs> yes. You know, she wants it. She needs it. But she's choosing to make a good golf yes. play. Let's see what Lisa can do with this uh, kind of stress-free run shot. Uh, yeah. Sticks it. Gave it That's the power, fine. though, needed for the bid. And if she wanted to take sole possession of third, that was probably going to have to go in. Yep. All right. Sorry. Cat actually knows her position right there. She says, sorry, Safe I had to run up. over to get a view of that shot. She just lays it right up. She says, I'm sorry about that. Beautiful, strong finish, Lisa. What a respectable two bid. Um, you know, you can see a little bit of disappointment in her heart. Heart of a champion. Yeah, Paige taking the two. <laughs> and look at Lisa the behind title. her. She's stoked for her. And, and how could you uh, not be? You know, every, every player is, is stoked oh. to see a play like that. Oh. Uh. Jen. Not every player wants to see a miss. No, and unfortunately, that was the putt. Uh, she had to make that to stay in at tie for third place. So, unfortunately, is going to take the strokes to bring her into fourth place. Um, but, you know, valiant effort, and you got to give props to her because she put on a display out here with that power. Watch this two go in. Kudos to Paige. Two, two man. to she finish. And two, run two. away Th with birdie, it. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Yeah. Turkey to finish. Turkey. How unbelievable is that? In the whole division, giving props up to her, it, it's Lisa came over to her afterwards, gave her a big hug, and said, I, "Someday, I'll, we're gonna get you someday." And it's true, like everyone's just out there gunning to just keep up, you know. And, and you have to ask, when is that time gonna be? You know, not this weekend. Not we'll this weekend. <laughs> not this weekend. Final standings, and as you can see, we've got first through tie for ninth. And there's our leaderboard. Yeah, top 10. And uh, I see a familiar name up there. In That's right. possession of six. That's oh, yeah. right. Two NTs, two six places. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm hungry for more golf. I'm, I'm really proud of my competitors. We got Madison fifth, Chen fourth, Lisa third, Kat second, Paige first. I love this division. I love where disc golf is. Same. I really, really love playing yeah, <laughs> doing, doing the commentary i really appreciate you guys inviting me out here and uh, everybody out there keep watching 
Thank you to Central Coast and everybody in the media that's trying to help get women's disc golf out there. Yeah, hey, it's absolutely our pleasure not only to come out to these events uh, really across the country and produce what we do, but to be able to spend time with you and spend time with other people and kind of just really bring everyone in together and and just have one happy family. Like That's what it feels like when we're on the road is just one big, awesome, happy disc golf. On the West Coast. <laughs> you <laughs> the know, West, coast, West coast, up next, San Francisco. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. So we are here in Santa Cruz doing commentary, but I'm heading back home to San Francisco later this afternoon. We got doubles. We have so much stuff going on this week. I cannot wait for San Francisco Open Week. So from all of us here down at Central Coast uh, and in Santa Cruz, really, shouts to Keenan for hosting us and doing second cam, Brian Geis on slow-mo, uh, Andy Hale for coming down and being our cart caddy and life Sherpa for a couple of rounds, Yeah. Uh, Zoe for coming in and doing commentary, Kona for rounds one and two commentary. It's been a blast. And guys, we'll catch you in San Francisco. Whoop, whoop.